Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this video will be for all the Linux gamers out there and any of you that are X, uh, XCOM fans might know that there's a long war of the Chosen out. Um, looks like it hit a beta 3 a few days ago, nine days ago. So this video will be how to install this under Linux considering it's not, as far as I know, it's not on the workshop yet under in Steam so you need to do it manually. So the first thing we want to do is go down to the zip file here, open it in a new tab so you can see it. And this is going to be, uh, just download this to your download directory, wherever that is. In my case, it is in, you know what, let's uh, figure out what my key bindings are, and there we go. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit on all my terminals here. So um, first thing we want to do is I went to downloads, uh, Long War of the Chosen. Let's do a quick list here. We had, uh, uh, you know, let me, let me, so we can, uh, Long War of the Chosen, LWO, star. Okay, so Bear with me here. Not quite. Uh, let's look again at what's in here. Okay, so this is what it'll look like when you download it. So the thing we want to do is you need a program called unzip, which pretty much every Linux distro will have this, I'm sure. Um, I don't know why that's waiting. So uh, we do unzip, long war of the chosen. And that's the, uh, that's the unzip uh, program there that you would want. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to change directories to dot local share. Uh, bear with me here. Share Steam. Uh, Steam apps. Uh, common. XCOM 2. Share data. XCOM game not. And you can see I already have these two files in here. I'm going to go ahead and remove all those just to make sure that um, we're doing this uh, copy correctly. So now what we want to do is copy recursively from the downloads folder, long war folder. We want the long war the chosen here. <clears throat> and we also want, uh, let's just do it this way. Uh, we also want the Highlander here. Okay, so you should see those here. Now you can, you know, let me put this over here so you can see it. So now we copied from the downloads folder, the Long War of the Chosen folder, as well as the Highlander. So you see those here. Right there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go back a couple one one directory and list out we need to go to CD config and list that out. So what we want is default mod options dot INI, this one right here. So let's go vim default mod options dot INI. And you need to copy this word for word. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so you can see exactly what needs to be in this file. So essentially you need to tell what mods you are manually installing. So xcom or engine.xcom mod options, brackets, active mods, long war the chosen, and the community highlander. So that should be enough to get it to show up. So let's take a look at uh, the library and go ahead and launch long war the chosen. Wait for it to start. I'm not sure I actually have this. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm not sure it's actually working here.
might already be started. It might be crashing. Hold on. Yeah, bear with me for just a second. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, yeah, I figured out the problem. I had a <clears throat> something wrong with my NVIDIA Primus setup. Um, but anyways, it should be on here now. Let's see if we can find, yeah, Long War of the Chosen is here. And the Community Highlander should be somewhere around here. Yeah, right there. So anyways, that should get you up and running with Long War of the Chosen, especially if you don't have a, some sort of NVIDIA Primus. Um, or NVIDIA Optimus issue, which appears I do now. So all I did, all I did was, as you probably saw a glimpse of it before, that I had the Primus Run um, start option. So I need to figure that out on my laptop, but I just started it up on my desktop with an NVIDIA card, and it should be good to go. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.